Hi, yeah. Um, so I had a question uh, from Chris Taylor um, regarding what happened with the Queen. So um, yeah, I met the Queen. Um, okay, so if you have no background in, in what I've said before. So I started to disconnect people from the moon and uh, the moon is a very large computer, does many things, it steals our sexual energy, It uh, they spray the nanobots and everything that comes from the moon and they spray that down so they can mind control people, we inhale this and the nanobots. Um, it, um, what I see, the moon connects people up together so people become obsessive um, and it steals the sexual energy and they, our sexual energy is used as a drug to many beings and um, also that lowers our able to manifest because we manifest, uh, it's like a sexual energy, it's like a booster in, in manifesting the reality that we want and need. So, um, but the moon is controlled by a planet um, called Nibiru or Planet X or some other name. You'll know it. Planet X and the Nibiru. Now, when I started, I had to start disconnecting people from the moon. So I had to go to Planet X a lot and ask for to be disconnected and stuff like that. And then one day they called a meeting and um, so I had to go. <laughs> I had to go to this meeting and then at the meeting it was very conducted like the house of commons it was very weird but i asked who was in charge and who came along was the queen and uh the other person that was in charge but not as big as the queen was prince philip he projects himself as prince philip inside the matrix so the queen projects herself in every civilization in this in this uh universe so it doesn't matter where where you are you believe planet, you're being serious and everything like that, she's there. But obviously in different form, obviously here she's Queen Elizabeth in human form, in, uh, in on the Black Sphere she's uh, Draco, um, and in other civilizations she'll project herself there. So she's she looks like the, the controller of all, all of consciousness, she's got a, well she has, she's got a finger in every pie, so to speak. Now when I um, look, go deeper into so out of the projection and into what's going on inside the matrix um, there is so you've got the mass of consciousness the collective consciousness inside the matrix and then above that is a huge mechanical spider attached to the egg-shaped dome and it sort of um, has eight legs and then um, each leg holds x amount of tentacles I think it's like over 121 tentacles on each leg and they attach to a single consciousness and then um, and then these legs go into the collective consciousness so these consciousness enter into um, our reality inside the um, machine um, is where a lot of the elitism is where the queen is now what I discovered about the queen or uh, what she elaborated is that she's not a or the people inside this, inside the um, the machine, and I met a lady last night. I was speaking to a lady last night who was of the same. They're not of pure consciousness like you and I. They have been there's like a hybrid consciousness, and they've been mixed with a spider consciousness. So there is a um, a collaboration with these spiders and uh, I've been attacked by these spiders and the, these spiders from what I understand feed off um, like trauma energy and uh, they're not very nice but um, anyway the, the, there's consciousness that's been merged with their with this spider consciousness so they are different from us and uh, so they probably perceive the way they react is, uh, is different to how we perceive and react. Right, so first of all, the queen, um, she, there's different layers to her, so I never know what I'm gonna get um, when I speak to her. But the um, base layer, which I think got to, um, she wants to be free, she's very entrapped. And uh, 
but and I thought I'll oh, right got to the got to the the end the root the the top of the pyramid uh, so to speak of this um control system I realized that she has she's more entrapped really and then the collective consciousness and knows less than some of the um, consciousness in the collective and uh, she doesn't know who her controllers are and she wants to escape now in this reality what she was saying that mentally physically she's not doing very well and um, she was saying she was showing me her hands and she's saying um, she's losing her memory so she's having trouble in this physical reality and she was telling me that the vultures are out so basically there there is consciousness inside the matrix that realize that the, the the machine is 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 not doing well that she's falling apart and when she falls apart all the other consciousness in the machine are, are going to fall apart too and in-house fighting and there was a lot of that anyway but it's going to be a lot worse um and uh, but there are consciousness on the outside so there is a fight for power and that's what she was saying it doesn't matter when um she falls or when the this machine falls there will be another consciousness in place to take control and manipulate and uh, abuse the consciousness the collective consciousness and uh, um you can see that so when i look at the the machine and i see all the 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 hybrid consciousness inside the machine there are literally other consciousness on the outside like vultures um, and uh, they uh, they're waiting for they're wanting to um, pull it down so it's it's messy really messy then um, over Christmas um, I was speaking to a gentleman and uh, there was an attack that happened and it came from outside of the matrix. So with the collaboration with the queen, I've stopped getting attacked. Um, not that I've done anything for her. It's just um, asked and, um, and she's asked for help. Not that I've helped her yet, but she wants to be free and um, treating her as any other consciousness. So um not the Queen in 3D land, she hasn't asked, but her consciousness self. I haven't had the Queen on the phone. I'd like some tea. <laughs> Can I have a session, please? I haven't had that, but her uh, her consciousness on inside the Matrix has asked for help. Anyway, um, so the attack stopped for a few weeks, and then um, I got attacked um, from outside of the Matrix, the beings from outside of the Matrix which hasn't been pleasant, um, but um, investigating that, and it, ugh, it's just, so I um, ended up um, going through a portal on the outside of the matrix, and it ended up, it, when I ended going through this portal, I was in like this city, and um, a city that you would find here, but it wasn't here, and I ended up in this room, and it was, looked like what, people would see as the men in black and they were in like these um, 1950, 40 suits, they were very very pale, too pale there, they were sort of like, do you know in the Matrix when you see Agent Smith, very much like that but taller and thinner. Um, anyway so I started talking to them and then they started to claim that they owned the matrix and uh, they created that they didn't create the matrix but they owned the matrix and uh, and uh, the, the all the matrices because there's many matrixes um, can't remember how many now like 12 I think um, and they they're like contractors and above these there's five different levels above these ones so, um, and the top beings are these like brown energy beings, um, which I'm sure we'll get to at some point. But, um, yeah, the people that are basically the people that are running or controlling or own the matrix actually aren't in this reality. They don't project themselves here. And um, they may come in here for a short time, like the men in black, and then piss off. But they don't, um, they're not part of the collective 
um, you don't see them. Um, if you see beings in this collective, in this reality, hence the queen and reptilians and stuff like that, they are in the matrix, they are stuck in the matrix through beliefs and programming and stuff like that. So they're not really, even though they're deemed part of the problem, they're not really. Um, so when I when I went to this, uh, the man in black thing, they, I was nearly on the red and the red was, uh, I, I would be taken out. Um, that I was on the, no, I was on the red colour, which is why the attack happened and the, the, the taken out colour was the black colour. I was like, oh shit. But um, from my understanding, they can't take you out unless they, you believe that they can. They have to work with your belief systems and if they can't work with your belief systems, there's very little they can do. So if you believe you can take them out, that's when they can take you out. If you don't have that belief in your consciousness, then they can't take you out. So don't worry if you feel that you're under threat of some sort. Um, just make sure you don't have the belief that you can be killed. Okay. Okay. I hope that answers some questions. Just rambled on as I do. Okay. You take care. Bye.